Okay, another cooking episode here. Tonight we're gonna make some tacos or burritos, little small ones. So we got some flour tortilla. These are the soft and fluffy, kind of thick ones. Got to sell some 7327 ground beef, garlic, black pepper, chili powder, tomato sauce, a green bell pepper, onion, lettuce, refried beans, some Italian seasoning mix, and of course, dumping on the floor, and some red pepper flake for the extra, extra spice and heat. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep all our vegetables, get them started. They're gonna sit right here. And just wait, you know, basically line up lettuce, onion, your peppers. We'll have our tortillas in there ready to go. So we need three pans. Well, actually two pans and a pot. So we got a pan here. This will be for our meat, our ground beef mix. We're gonna get a regular pot to cook our, uh, our refried beans in. And then we're gonna need another pan like this that we can heat up our tortillas on, which, when, which won't be, uh, that won't be too much of a mess. So we're gonna get started here. Oh, we also have uh, some uh, decent cheese. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. We got some triple cheddar mix for our cheese on top. And of course, you can do guacamole and, you know, salsa and all uh, pico de gallo and whatever else you want. But this is a basic thing for cooking in the truck. So there's our steering wheel, there's the Qualcomm, bunk, bunk, and storage up there, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to get prepped, and we'll show you stage by stage, step by step, what I'm doing. All right, so in the pan, we got our ground beef, we got onions, our chili powder, some red pepper flakes, some black pepper, and garlic, and Italian seasoning. We're gonna brown our meat with all these spices. And once the meat has been browned off nice and evenly and everything is pretty much consistent all the way through, we're gonna add our tomato sauce. And cook it a little bit more. We got a little bit of onion in there as well, diced up. Up here we have some raw green pepper, some onion that's been chopped in the same fashion, you know, nice long pieces. We got three tortillas for the dinner. The lettuce we will cut at the last minute so it doesn't wilt and it stays nice and fresh and crunchy. Once the meat is cooked, we'll set it aside, make up the beans. We're gonna add a little bit of water to this to thin it out a little bit. And then I'll make that nice and good. That way it's easier to spread on the uh, on the tortilla. All right, our meat is cooking down. Everything is blending together. Now this is a little bit more liquid than what a lot of people would want but that's because of the high fat content of the meat, which I like. And I'm not afraid of a little bit of a, uh, of a higher fat in there. Just means you need to be a little bit more careful when you're, when you're eating, so you don't slap it all over the place. But just make sure you have plenty of, plenty of towels, paper towels, napkins, box of tissue, you know, whatnot you know your sleeve we got our refried beans almost ready to go so once I'm, I'm satisfied with this I'm gonna put a little bit a dash of water in there thin it out get that nice and hot 
Then we got a fresh new pan, just ready, uh, just getting ready for the uh, tortillas to heat them up. Then all we need is a plate to sit down and, and have a good have a good eat. And then once everything's once the meat is cooled down and the beans are cooled down, we'll transfer them to a uh, to a you know a seal container like this. You know that one's dirty right now, and we'll uh, you know pack that up for later. So we can have some more tomorrow for lunch and probably dinner. All right, our meat mixture is complete. Now it's just sitting there waiting. Now we're making our refried beans. I put a little bit of the uh, little fat sauce into there, a little touch of water. When that gets nice and smooth and all bubbly and, and hot, then we're going to take that pan off, move it to the side. Then we're going to put on our pan to do our tortilla, and we'll be good to go. All right, refried beans are done. Meat mixture done. Tortillas in a pan getting hot. All our vegetables are prepped. Cheese is ready to go. We got a plate. We got a good old napkin. We got something to drink. We got everything we need for a good old meal in the truck. The hardest part about this is cleaning up afterwards that's not a problem you put stuff in a bag you wipe them out as good as you can you put them in a bag when you go in to take a shower you wash your dishes in the shower bring them out dry them off good to go okay we got a hot tortilla we put a little bit of uh refried bean on there Little sprinkle of cheese. A couple spoonfuls of, of meat. Yeah. Some green pepper, a bit of onion, and a little bit of lettuce, and we got ourselves a meal. So we're just going to fold that up and have go to town on it. Probably do three of these because I'm pretty hungry today. That's how easy it is to cook in the truck. Thanks for watching. All right, we're finishing our last, our third burrito. We got the uh, the beans and the meat in a uh, Tupperware container. We're just gonna get a uh, Ziploc bag and put the uh, onions and green peppers in it. We'll stick that in the refrigerator for tomorrow. We got a few dishes to clean up, but not much. But overall, a success, enjoyable, bar none and a whole lot cheaper than eating out. So I had three burritos here. I got enough meat and beans for at least six more burritos, so two more meat or two more meals. I have enough uh, lettuce 
onion and green pepper, tortillas, cheese. So we have basically spent approximately $8 for all the ingredients. Divide that by three, three meals. You're talking about $2 and 60 something cents a meal. Divide that by three burritos each. So you're looking at about 90, about 85, 90 cents for a nice big burrito like that. And you're guaranteed to be full. And you're guaranteed to enjoy it because it's going to be precisely the way you like it. Not what some restaurant does to cut corners and make as much profit as they can. You make it precisely the way you want it. Now all I got to do is wipe these down, stick them in a plastic bag. Next, when I go into my shower tomorrow, take all my dirty dishes in, scrub them down the shower, we're good to go.